Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be discussing an American science fiction action film Bumblebee. Spoiler ahead. Watch out and take care. The film opens on a distant planet, portraying an intense battle between two factions of robots. These robotic groups, known as Decepticons and Autobots, engage in fierce combat, exchanging blows and gunfire using advanced weaponry. The Decepticons, driven by malevolent intentions, seek to conquer the planet through a brutal assault. In contrast, the Autobots, driven by noble purposes, strive to defend their home world and repel the invaders. The Decepticons' ultimate goal is to eliminate the Autobots and seize control of the planet. Despite the Decepticons' devastating attack, the Autobots valiantly resist, employing their advanced technological arsenal and machinery to stand their ground. Due to the overwhelming Decepticon numbers, the Autobots face defeat. The Autobot leader called for a retreat. In this crucial moment, a yellow Autobot, the main character, emerged. It engaged the Decepticon leader, delivering a strong blow. Afterward, the yellow Autobot approached its leader, questioning the decision to flee. It emphasized the importance of defending their home and suggested standing up against the Decepticons. Encouraged by the Yellow Autobot's conviction, the leader agreed with the sentiment. They acknowledged the need for a safe haven and proposed Earth as a potential refuge. The leader assigned the Yellow Autobot the task of establishing a base on Earth. Upon receiving the command, the Yellow Robot swiftly departs and boards a spacecraft bound for Earth. Observing from space, it witnesses the unyielding Decepticons, who can morph into dangerous aircraft, relentlessly launching fiery assaults upon the planet. The Autobots' leader takes swift action, leaping into the fray to thwart the Decepticon threat. The scene seamlessly transitions to Earth's tranquil forest, where a group of soldiers, led by a capable agent, engage in training. Amid their dialogue, one soldier spots a blazing object hurtling towards Earth at incredible speed. The spaceship's impact triggers a violent explosion, injuring several soldiers and worsening their condition. The leader urgently contacts the base for aid. As he turns, a remarkable sight unfolds, the undamaged emergence of the yellow Autobot from the spaceship. The agent is astonished by the unscathed robot, its alien origin accentuated by its blue glowing eyes. Swiftly scanning the surroundings, it deems the soldiers a potential threat and flees the scene, its quick exit evading pursuit. Racing away, pursued by military vehicles, the Autobot undergoes a transformation, morphing into a car, a startling revelation that leaves the agent astounded. A soldier takes aim, launching an arrow that strikes the robot car, causing it to veer and crash. Recovering, the Autobot reverts to its robotic form, they fired incessantly at the robot, but the bullets had no effect. They switched to explosive blasts instead. The robot's ingenuity shone as it used its blade-like appendage to cut trees, obstructing their pursuit. This triggered the agent's anger, yet the robot persisted, eventually removing a lodged arrow. Its relief turned to alarm as it realized being encircled by the army on all fronts. Spying a mine, it fled for its life, only to collide with an army vehicle, resulting in significant injury and subsequent envelopment by the surrounding soldiers. Expressing remorse, the robot admits its mistake in landing amidst the soldiers. Witnessing this, Agent commands his team to hold their fire. Suddenly, a fighter jet sound emerges, prompting Agent to assume Air Force support. However, the robot corrects him, identifying the jet as its enemy. The jet unleashes bombs, triggering explosions that engulf the area in flames. Soldiers are thrown back, worsening their injuries. Amidst the chaos, Agent is harmed. Subsequent scenes unveil the fighter jet as a Decepticon, dispatched to eliminate the yellow robot and gather information about the location of its allies. The robotic combatants clash as the yellow robot faces an assault from the Decepticon. A fierce battle erupts between them, with the Decepticon readying to fire, halted by the yellow robot strikes. Eager to strike with its bladed hand, the yellow robot lunges, yet the Decepticon evades, fueling its anger. Seizing an opportunity, the Decepticon captures the yellow robot, carrying it away as the fight shifts to the mountains. Among the rugged landscape, both engage in an intense struggle. The Decepticon deploys its potent firearm, continuously assaulting its neck. The Decepticon inflicts severe damage on the yellow robot's throat and speech systems. In a brutal act, the Decepticon hurls the yellow robot off a high hill, causing it to crash into a ditch amid a series of collisions with mountains. Its condition worsens. Despite its state, the Decepticon returns, gripping the yellow robot's neck. Demonstrating resourcefulness, the yellow robot accesses Decepticon's system, integrating its own rocket. Swiftly parting ways, it fires a gunshot, resulting in a massive explosion that dismantles the Decepticon. Though victorious, the yellow robot's condition deteriorates further. It pushes forward but falters by a stream, losing its memory and teetering on system shutdown. Amidst the events, the yellow robot transforms into a car. The scene shifts to a girl named Charlie, whose family situation brings her discontent. Her father's passing followed by her mother's second marriage, which she resents, leaves her displeased. 
Charlie, along with her younger brother, approaches her mother, seeking $500 to fix her car. Her request is denied, leading to her dejection. She later heads to her job as a waitress, where her sadness lingers. Inadvertently, she spills juice on a classmate, who responds by mocking her. Her sadness deepens, but Charlie remains silent towards the affluent girl who belittled her due to her status. Witnessing the rich girl's pride in her car reminds Charlie of her unfulfilled aspiration to own a car. After her work shift, she makes her way to her uncle's garage to retrieve something important for her car. Her uncle, a kind-hearted man, encourages her to take anything she likes from the garage. Among the cars, she's drawn to a yellow one, unknowingly sitting inside, the very same yellow robot that had transformed into a car before shutting down due to system failure. Charlie attempts to start the car, inadvertently activating its radio. The signal reaches an Autobot on the yellow robot's distant home planet. Confronted by two Decepticons, the Autobot endures a brutal assault and persistent interrogation about its allies. The radio signal reveals the yellow robot's Earth presence, leading the Decepticons to mortally wound it. The Autobot is dismembered and destroyed, and the Decepticons set their sights on Earth. Meanwhile, Charlie's attempts to start the yellow car prove futile. Frustrated, she returns home and attempts to repair her own car, but her efforts are in vain, leaving her feeling disheartened. On her birthday, she hopes for funds to fix her car, but her mother's gift is a helmet, leaving her saddened. Sorrowfully, she rests on her bed, tears flowing, before mustering the courage to approach her uncle. Seeking a birthday gift, she pleads for the yellow car that has languished in his garage, a relic in disrepair. Her uncle's agreement brings her immense joy. Expressing her gratitude, she toils diligently to restore the car, a labor of love rewarded with success as the engine roars to life. Driving home, elation courses through her veins. Yet, as night descends and she tends to a fallen car part, an astonishing discovery unfolds. Beneath the car lies the face of the yellow robot, illuminated by a radiant blue light. Activated and transforming before her eyes, the robot's emergence leaves Charlie utterly astonished. Moments later, the robot assumes its imposing form, startling them both into fear, prompting a rapid retreat. Once calm returns, Charlie approaches cautiously, asking for the robot's name. Initially timid, the robot sits down, only to be comforted by Charlie's words of reassurance. Seeking to establish a connection, Charlie assures the robot's safety and inquires about its condition. Despite her efforts, the robot struggles to recall its name due to memory loss. A tender touch from Charlie brings solace to the robot, fostering a sense of connection that prompts a reciprocal touch. Unable to speak due to its damaged communication system, the robot playfully gestures its response, evoking a smile from both. She introduces herself as Charlie, leading the robot to remind her of a honey bee, inspiring her to dub it Bumblebee, a name that mirrors the movie's title. Just as her mother approaches, Bumblebee adeptly transforms into a car, evading detection. Charlie's mother inquires about the yellow car's origin, car, before spotting Bumblebee in its car form and attributing it to a birthday gift from her uncle. In a dramatic turn of events, Decepticons en route to Earth encounters a car, causing a fiery collision that obliterates it. Emerging from a landed spaceship, the Decepticons adopt car disguises before revealing their true robotic forms as a curious man investigates. Upon the man's friendly greeting, the Decepticons swiftly incapacitate him, dissolving his body into liquid. Departing the scene in their car disguises, they continue their hunt for the elusive yellow robot. Learning of this dire situation, Agent swiftly mobilizes his team, determined to intercept the Decepticons' plans. Confronting the malevolent duo, he demands answers regarding their presence and motives. The Decepticons cunningly respond, attributing their mission to capturing a criminal yellow robot from their planet. Expressing their struggle in locating it, they propose using Earth's satellite to pinpoint its whereabouts. In response, Agent escorts them to his headquarters. Securing permission from the senior officer, the Decepticons gain access to the satellite's capabilities. Meanwhile, Charlie and Bumblebee spend a joyous day together, forging a strong bond as friends. Wandering through the forest, their conversation leads to Charlie's request to inspect Bumblebee's system. As Charlie examines the system, an unexpected holographic message materializes, a transmission from Bumblebee's leader. The message conveys reassurance of their well-being on their distant planet and the promise of reuniting with Bumblebee in the future. The message triggers memories in Bumblebee's consciousness, hinting at his forgotten past. Upon returning home, Charlie notices the malfunctioning radio. Recognizing Bumblebee's affinity for music, she replaces the old radio with a new one, unleashing a delightful array of songs that the two enjoy in together. In a moment of sheer happiness, Bumblebee breaks into a dance, relishing the joyous atmosphere. Nearby, Charlie's parked car catches Bumblebee's attention, prompting Charlie to share her sorrow over its unrepaired state. Through silent understanding, Bumblebee offers comfort, leading Charlie to embrace him tightly, finding solace in his presence. As the music resumes, their spirits lift once more. Unexpectedly, Charlie's neighbor and friend arrive, oblivious to Bumblebee's true nature. 
Witnessing the towering robot, the neighbor is overcome with fear and distress. Charlie steps in, assuring her friend that Bumblebee is gentle and benevolent, urging him to keep the extraordinary encounter a secret. Grateful for her reassurance, her friend agrees, a testament to their bond. The following day, they embark on a memorable journey. Bumblebee chatted through the radio, serenading them with a variety of tunes. With spirits lifted, they continued their journey, relishing each moment. Finally, they arrived where fellow college students gathered, including the rich girl who had previously taunted Charlie and her car. Fueled by a desire to teach the rich girl a lesson, Charlie and her friend devised a nighttime plan. Aided by Bumblebee, they emerged from the shadows at the girl's house, intent on dismantling her prized car. Bumblebee took the lead, gently caressing the car before delivering a decisive strike, followed by a jubilant dance that worsened the car's condition. Amidst the chaos, Bumblebee transformed into a car as the horn blared. Seizing the opportunity, Charlie and her friend hurriedly climbed aboard, speeding away in the car, leaving a swift and spirited departure behind them. Pursued by a policeman, Bumblebee accelerates, initiating a high-speed chase. The intense race continues until they reach a bridge, where Bumblebee transforms into its robotic form, scaling the wall and leaping onto the police car to halt it. Swiftly reverting to car form, they escape to safety, reaching home unscathed. The following morning, as Charlie heads to work, Bumblebee remains at home. While lying down, a dog inadvertently triggers its transformation, prompting Bumblebee to enter the house, unknowingly wreaking havoc. Accidentally causing chaos as objects break upon contact, Bumblebee's unintended actions lead to a mishap with the fridge that results in an electric shock coursing through its body, jolting it. Electricity surged through the wires, spreading from Bumblebee's body and causing a widespread short circuit in the town. The resulting sparks led to fire outbreaks, drawing the attention of the Decepticons who pinpointed Bumblebee's location. They mobilized with an army to capture him. Back at home, Charlie's friend, alarmed by the commotion, called her. Returning home, Charlie was shocked by the state of disarray and became frustrated with Bumblebee. Reminding him to stay hidden as a car, she scolded him for his actions. Before more could unfold, her mother arrived, witnessing the chaos. Demanding an explanation, Charlie took responsibility and assured her mother she would explain everything. Amidst the tension, her mother's anger pushed her to leave with Bumblebee and her friend. Amidst the chaos, the army intercepts Charlie and her friend, leading to their capture. Witnessing this, Bumblebee becomes enraged, forcefully freeing Charlie and pushing aside an officer. Escaping with Charlie, Bumblebee rushes through the forest, eventually transforming back into a car upon reaching the road. However, the Decepticons launch an attack, prompting Bumblebee to switch back into its robotic form. In a desperate bid to protect Charlie, Bumblebee shields her from an impending blast, causing them both to be thrown a considerable distance. Recovering from the blast, the Decepticons relentlessly assault Bumblebee, throwing it around and delivering powerful blows with their limbs. Charlie valiantly tries to intervene and stop the assault. The situation intensifies as the army arrives, administering electric shocks to Bumblebee, causing it to collapse. Charlie, in an attempt to help, also gets shocked and falls to the ground. Meanwhile, Agent visits Charlie's home to inform her mother about the robot's presence and potential danger. Despite Charlie's protests, her pleas fall on deaf ears. Her mother, angered by the revelation, confines Charlie to her room. Simultaneously, Bumblebee remains restrained at the army facility, enduring a brutal interrogation from the Decepticons. Despite the relentless beatings and questioning, Bumblebee remains resolute, refusing to disclose any information about its leader or fellow Autobots. During the chest assault, the leader's holographic message pledges their impending arrival on Earth. The Decepticons swiftly plot to summon their army and prep for an all-out attack on the Autobots upon arrival, ultimately intending to obliterate Earth. A shocked scientist overhears their sinister plan and urgently contacts Agent to reveal the truth. Unfortunately, the Decepticons catch him in the act, disintegrating him with their weapon before departing. Amidst the turmoil, Charlie and her friend rush to Bumblebee's rescue, tearfully embracing the wounded robot. As they do, the army arrives on the scene. Upon arrival, they launch an assault on Bumblebee, triggering a blast that injures both Charlie and her friend. They persistently attack, utilizing bombs and attempting to immobilize Bumblebee with ropes. In response, Agent shoves Charlie aside, igniting Bumblebee's rage. It retaliates by slamming its hand into the ground, then goes on a powerful offensive, flinging Agent and thwarting its assailants. With precision, Bumblebee severs the ropes and employs its firearm. At Charlie's plea, it ceases its onslaught and sits obediently before her. While Charlie's friend keeps the army at bay, she makes her escape with Bumblebee. Pursued by the army, Charlie's family intervenes, attempting to halt her progress, but her determination remains unshaken as she presses forward with Bumblebee by her side. At last, they confront the Decepticons who were preparing to signal their army from a towering device. Bumblebee, driven by his love for Charlie, secures her in a protective enclosure and advances, unleashing gunfire upon the tower with his handgun. 
A Decepticon descends to engage in combat, initiating a perilous battle where they trade powerful blows. Despite being outmatched in strength, Bumblebee's determination fuels his efforts to overcome the Decepticon. As the intense fight rages on, Charlie escapes from the enclosure and races ahead. Bumblebee pivots, striking the Decepticon's face with a powerful blow from his leg. He continues his assault, pummeling the Decepticon relentlessly. Ultimately, Bumblebee shifts into his robot form and forcefully collides with the Decepticon, weakening it significantly. In the midst of the chaos, Charlie embarks on a daring climb up the tower to disable the device and prevent the Decepticon's army from discovering their location. As she works to remove the device, a helicopter arrives on the scene and launches an assault against the tower-occupied Decepticon. Meanwhile, Bumblebee continues his relentless battle with the Decepticon, landing powerful blows and even using a chain to constrict and dismantle its body. With a strategic move, Bumblebee seizes a thick chain and employs it to tear apart the Decepticon's body, causing a fiery explosion that ends its threat. As this confrontation unfolds, the tower's Decepticon's target agent's helicopter, causing it to catch fire and plummet toward the ground. In a heroic display, Bumblebee intercepts the falling helicopter, preventing it from crashing and ensuring agent's survival. Charlie reaches the device, attempting to extract it, but the Decepticon opens fire. Bumblebee intervenes, shooting the Decepticon to protect Charlie. They engage in combat, targeting the Decepticon's vulnerabilities. Charlie removes and discards the device, eliminating the global threat. Bumblebee, relieved, rises, but the Decepticon retaliates aggressively, inflicting blows. Despite Bumblebee's struggle, the Decepticon gains control, pinning it down. Bumblebee shoots the sea-facing wall, causing a breach. A ship surges through the opening, colliding with the Decepticon and flooding the area with water. The forceful deluge decimates half of the Decepticons, while Bumblebee narrowly escapes. The collaboration between Charlie and Bumblebee averts the impending danger and saves the day. Charlie swims through the water to rescue Bumblebee, and once it regains consciousness, Agent approaches. Realizing that Bumblebee is not a threat but a benevolent robot, Agent salutes it. He instructs Charlie to take Bumblebee away, as his team is approaching, and their encounter might lead to an unfortunate outcome. Reluctantly, Charlie guides Bumblebee to a safer location. Bumblebee's memories return, and Charlie tearfully expresses that it's risky for Bumblebee to remain there. Despite her emotional attachment, she knows it's the best decision. She hugs Bumblebee, and it transforms into an upscale car before departing, bidding farewell to Charlie. Upon returning home, Charlie introduces Bumblebee to her mother, who begins to appreciate her unique friend. Meanwhile, in the forest, Bumblebee reunites with its leader who has arrived to retrieve it. The other Autobots descend from the sky onto Earth to join them. In a separate scene, Charlie embarks on a long drive in her repaired car, enjoying her favorite music. With this, the movie comes to an end. Thank you for watching our recap. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and feel free to explore our other recaps.